let's fast forward a couple years, right? You put in the three to five, you're starting to get confidence and comfort and, and some level of sophistication in the industry where you do understand the game, right? And you start to build a book. When you started in the industry through like kind of that first wave of now I'm comfortable and confident, do you remember what the needs of the tenants were at that time? Because when I think about today, there's so many different landscapes from co-working, traditional offices, now working from home is important. Back then it wasn't as such, right? There, there wasn't as many options because technology was a little different and working from home wasn't as popular or comfortable yet from an employer standpoint. Do you remember what the, 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 the needs you were looking at with, with your tech companies and GovCons, which you, were, you work significantly with? Yeah, the, the needs are very different than they are today. I mean, I, uh, I actually saw a picture recently of, it was a picture of me and a, a group of people um, from early in my career, and none of us had these. None of us had iPhones, right? They were, you know, flip phones or, or, or whatever, maybe, maybe Blackberries. But I remember when I started in the industry, I personally did not have the ability to bring my computer home with me. And this was only 10 years ago. So I certainly wasn't answering emails from my phone. And I think that probably changed and shifted within my first year. You know, I, I had a desktop computer to, to log into. And, you know, there was a portal that I could log, log on to at home from a home computer. But it's totally different. I, you know, it, it, it wasn't people working from Starbucks. Now it's, it's, it's going into this total ecosystem of, of working from, from multiple different places. But back then, uh, you know, some of the challenges that companies were seeing, especially in the tech and GovCon world, were, were growth, right? How can I, how can I sign a long-term commitment in a market where, you know, I'm, I'm 50 employees at headquarters now, but all it takes at times with, you know, with a GovCon group, you could win a contract and you're doubling your headcount within 30 days. So how do you accommodate for that? Um, so early on in my career, I was work, working with a, a lot of high growth government contracting firms and really understanding the ins and outs of that business and how quickly their real estate needs can fluctuate up and down depending on contracts. So really helping them maximize their flexibility within their office space and within their lease. So uh, creating opportunities for expansion options, you know, taking a, a piece of space adjacent to the, to, you know, the, the, the prime space that you're leasing in the event of growth, um, uh, termination options on, on all or a part of that office space, sometimes tailored to particular contracts in leases, you would actually have that contract specifically spelled out saying, if, if we lose this contract, we give this, portion of the space back to the landlord because we no longer need it. Uh, subleasing options, um, furniture solutions were, were just starting to come into play earlier in my career. And now it's just a part of every single conversation, workplace strategy, how are you utilizing your furniture? Is it, you know, back then it was a lot of companies going from office intensive to more of uh, an open environment in, in cubicles. Uh, you know, little by little, those workspaces went from 200 square feet to, per, per person to 180 to 150 to 120. It, you know, it, it just it just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Now with COVID, you know, who knows, you know, what what the solution is going to be after, but it's going to continue to evolve. But the, the you know the issues and 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 the drivers in in these real estate decisions are very very different today in calendar year 2020 than they were back in 2010, 11, 12, 13. Um, and technology is a huge driver of that. 